Next. Boo! Sorry. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the shadiest show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my dorky co-host, Graydon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today on the channel, we are doing what we do best, giving unsolicited advice to minors and majors. <laughs> In the second edition of... Pitching face tattoos to rappers without them. That's right, we're gonna pull up a picture of a rapper. We're gonna analyze their face and decide <laughs> what tattoo they need to get. Absolutely. Uh, it's a free consultation, so if you're watching this and you are one of the rappers, you're free to get it. You don't even have to credit us. Nope. Um, but I do think it would help your career. Yes. Okay. All these tattoos will be career changing. Definitely. <laughs> you like that shit when I do that kind I of stuff? I <laughs> love that sort of thing. You know me, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> also, we will be featuring a mock-up of what the tattoo might look like. At each consultation, <laughs> there will be some sort of artistic rendering. Uh -huh. All right, first off, Fuch, future. Mr. Pluto. Yeah, Sir Pluto. <laughs> Sir Pluto. Pluto Senior. Future Hendrix. Future Hendrix. All right, let's uh, let's think about this. Okay, I'm thinking. This is future. Uh, Stylistically, something comes to mind What's right that? away. Mm -hmm. Like a very like eloquent dragon. That eloquent? Kind of, yeah. Like, okay, a well-spoken dragon? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like a rat that frames his face. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I think that would look really good. And I think he's like kind of like a high fashion guy. Definitely. And so like something not straightforward, mm -hmm. something like just... Eloquent, like I said. Eloquent. <laughs> Correct usage of that word. Uh, pretty late in his career for Future to be going in on the face tattoos, but he's got the money for it. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And he has a bad-looking face. That could use a tattoo. Oh, I think he looks good. You think he's handsome? Yeah. I don't think he's traditionally handsome. Wow. Okay. Um, I was going to say just a rectangular prism on his left cheek. Just a rectangular prism, but with dotted lines in between, so it teaches you kind of how to draw one. That's actually really cool. I think it would be really cool, educational for the kids, and definitely a like a like a curveball. People yeah. definitely wouldn't be expecting. But it's kind of cryptic. People would be like, "Whoa, what does that mean? Where am I? Right? Who are we? All right. I can't believe he doesn't have one." And Ellie Chapa definitely seems uh, very susceptible to this advice. Yeah, like he's, he's got to be thinking about it every day. He's young and he's gonna get one. Yeah. So this is an important moment. We can definitely gift him some sort of good idea for this. I don't know why I'm just letting these ones come to me, but I mm -hmm. see like a Heineken beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> like a nice little Heineken, kind of on the, in the blue face spot. Dude, this guy is five years out from the legal drinking age, and you're telling him to get a Heineken bottle? Yeah, it's a great design. Before he even tastes it. The Heineken bottle's a great design. Okay. Green, like all green. Uh-huh. I mean, I think that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> I was going to say, um, like, a salamander on his forehead. Oh, that'd but be like cool. But in that old style, how it's kind of like, it's almost like a cave drawing looking. Like uh -huh. It's like, there's just like a sal slimy little salamander. What's the little of... guy that plays the thing and he's like happy? Uh, oh, uh, 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 Loki. Oh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. A Doki. Coco Pelly. Coco Pelly. Kind yeah. of in a Coco Pelly, like, silhouette style salamander. Uh, I was thinking more like uh, the Sobe Life Water logo, almost. Beautiful design. <laughs> yeah, really I good. love that stuff. That yeah. pink one, that was gross looking. Yeah, but it's really tasty. Mm. Mm. So, be, <laughs> so be it. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of our tattoo suggestions, like, going in combination. Oh, like, okay. You don't have to get one or the other. You, you get, should get both. You should get both. Yeah. Choppa? Let me know. Next we got Nav. Whoa, I had no idea Nav was so sexy. I know. Look at that. He's stunning. It, honestly, it looks like an... I know I said I was going to make artist renderings, renderings. This looks like one. It this looks, looks like 3D. A, like a like Baroque realism from the 17th century Venice art movement. It honestly kind of looks like if you just Googled handsome man, <laughs> this would come up. I also think that he has the tiniest bangs that I've ever seen. Wow, They're, they're yeah. like, literally, they're like bangs. That's really cool. Um, All right. I am kind of picturing, you know, like on that, the more you know, and then the, yeah, star, the star goes all across it. Yeah. I want to see the star, like, kind of rise up over him. Oh, like a shooting like, star. Yeah, and it like ends at the top of his forehead. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I've been sitting on this one. I knew what, that if I saw a nav <laughs> in this segment, I'd have something for him. All right. Pretzel with a knife through it. Oh. 
just kind of like the smiley shirt. Kind of like the smiley shirt. Available at Hive <laughs> Sorry. Hive Mind. <laughs> <laughs> Available at HiveMindTV.com. But yeah, kind of like that. But he's allergic to pretzels, so it's kind of like he's sticking it to. Yeah, fuck that. Like man. it's like, an like, obstacle for him in his yeah. life that he's had to kind of. In that case, hurdle. you should get every food ever on your face. Uh, that's true. With knives and arrows and guns, guns. at him and stuff. <laughs> Grenades. Yeah, like peanuts, mangoes, bread, <laughs> cats, bees. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna get a tortured cat on my face. Capitalism philosophies. Yeah. I'm allergic to those. I feel that. Shout out Nav. Shout out Nav. Beautiful mm. man. Long time subscriber. Meg the Stallion? Meg the Stall. She doesn't seem like she's in the market for a face tattoo. No, I wouldn't. I don't wouldn't, think she would want one. Unless it was like super cute. Oh yeah. Like if it was just like, wow, mm. that's cute. Mm. But what would be cute? I feel like I might have used this in the past, but it still is the one that I feel like I need to say, which is a uh, Nyan Cat, a little Pop Tart Cat. <laughs> I think how that, do you say it again? Nyan Cat. Nice. Nyan Cat. I think that's how you say it. But like right here, just like like a uh, almost like a teardrop tattoo, but it's that instead. Oh, it'd be really cool or cute rather if she got like Leviticus. Leviticus, the like the story, the whole story from the Bible, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. I think that'd be cute. Oh, that would be adorable to have that long ass. And Bible talk story. about talk about good for the kids. Yeah, true. Yeah, shout out God. I think shout that, out the Old Testament. She, she seems like a woman of God, Megan the Stallion. I, I genuinely think she is yeah, strong like a faith. religious person. But um, yeah, those are both good suggestions. Mm. Shout out to Meg. Next, <laughs> Young Lee. Can't believe he doesn't have one. Definitely in the market. He's drawn on his face a lot. I, I feel like yeah. that makes me think he's never going to get one because he's like he, chicken shit. He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he won't go the full way. It's kind of like a one day thing for mm -hmm. him. Almost like a sabbatical. It's a little hobby. He's like recreationally tattooing his face. Right. He does, however, have uh, <clears throat> Pluto. Speaking of uh, baby Pluto, baby Pluto. And, and senior Pluto mm -hmm. uh, on his neck. That's a good one. That's I a like good that tattoo. One. Yeah. Except Walt Disney's an anti-Semite, so mm. I'm not totally there for it, but I it's feel, a good character. I feel that, yeah. Um, I think it would have to stay in the cartoon realm, though. Yeah, so, let's, yeah let's keep it there. I was going to say, like, Invader Zim, kind of like on the archway right here, like just like in between oh, his okay. eyes, Invader Zim. I kind of see Boo. Oh, Boo, like King Boo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. King Boo really fits his aesthetic I for can, me. I, can I almost see think that. of King Boo as Young Lee. Yeah, they look alike. Yeah. So if he had like a little King Boo on his face, mm. maybe with like, instead of like his little just normal ghostly trail, it's like money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we could give. Okay, we could give Young Lean a King Boo face tattoo, but give King Boo, the face tattoo, a face tat. Oh! Like a money sign. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Polo G. Polo G. Another one that seems likely because of his enormous neck tattoo. Yeah. He has a big neck tattoo. It's hard to see in this photo, but he yeah, has like big a neck piece. big like, yeah, I don't even know what it is, but um, he has a big neck tattoo. You know that photo of like the galactic microwaves? No. They just took? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks kind of like the xenon thing. You see where I'm going with this? Y yeah, for sure. That whole thing on his face. Whoa. Color? No, like kind of black and white, like overlays his whole face. Like someone takes a picture and just like, wow. It would hurt. It would that would hurt long. so bad. And also be just, it would change how he looked so profoundly. Yeah, but he'd be like, then a reflection of what we yeah the cesspool that is life wow the galactic cesspool i was gonna say that he should get one that's kind of like a jawline one that's like this like so okay and it's script uh -huh. it's like really pretty looking script that says eloquent that says fortnite just in like beautiful script and Dude. the bottom line is his jawline right here just that'd be so cool fortnite, fortnite. yeah Wow. And you don't really know if it's like a Shakespeare reference or a reference to the video game? Yeah. How could you? Could be either. <laughs> Rico Nasty. <laughs> Look at this picture, this picture of her of cheese. Her. Her. She's like, hey, uh, uh, I'm at the award show or some sort of corporate scumbag man, zone. <laughs> her edges always look so good. She could, those could be tattoos. Yeah, that's, yeah. They I look great. That. But they're not. Um, I think this one would be, would really go a long way for her career. Mm -hmm. if she got like the hammer and sickle. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Just expressing some sort of her Disdain. political views. Yeah. yeah, okay. Wow. Workers of the world unite. Agreed. Didn't have as good of a ring. 
Right. And so the hammer and sickle does, Stands for it. does that symbolically. Gets it across. Yeah. I definitely, that's the first thing I would think of if I saw it. <laughs> Workers of the world unite. Unite. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just going to go with some simple, like, lightning bolts just on each cheek, like oh. down from her eyes, almost like Lil Xan's tear, yeah. teardrop tattoos, but it's lightning. That'd so, be cool. I honestly feel like that was the first one I've given that I think would be Real. actually cool. <laughs> like, I think if Rico got that, people would be like, damn, Hell she, yeah. Yeah, she's on some heavy shit right yeah. now. I like them both. Yeah, they're both equally good. <laughs> Next. Boo! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, were you doing an impression of our fan base just uh, now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Russ. Russy. Russell. He's in the market. I feel like he just, like, gets... He thinks he can join in on any trend. Yeah, but I think that he definitely has some strong opinions that he would give on, on live about face tattoos and uh, how he hates them. And then people would be like... He'd make him apologize for it, and he'd be like, Lil Wayne's my favorite rapper, like, blah, 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 I don't care. Yeah. Like, I was kidding, but... and then he'd We should one. still say the Pledge of Allegiance in school. Yeah, something like yeah, that. For and sure. people would be like, huh? See, I'm tempted to do something real on the nose and be like, you know, you should get a tattoo that says, like, you know, something about his platinum records or something about... That's what about, I was going to say, numbers. Yeah. Just numbers that represent, like... 27 hits, like 27 platinum oh, hits, four okay. gold records, and like when people talk shit to him, he'd be like, this is because oh, I'm self-made. I think that then, in that case, they should be tallies, because he's going to keep running it up, mm -hmm. so as many platinum plaques as he gets, it's just tallies, and then he can kind of break it into the argument where he'd be like, you know what this means? Do you know what these mean? And I got a, and I got an appointment for next week to get the next one, you know? Like that type of situation. Adding another. Yeah. F you, Russ. Shout out, Russ. <laughs> J. Cole. J. Hole. Jake Hole. The newest Detroit Piston. The, yeah, possibly. <laughs> He's trying out for the Pistons. That's pretty cool. Um, um, definitely would never get a face tattoo, so no. this is purely hypothetical. He would... Oh, that's what I want. I want Mario here and Luigi here. Oh. Just like little Mario and Luigi's. That would be cool. And people would be like, why'd you get that? And he'd be like, you'll never understand me. <laughs> Mine is kind of like the same thing, like you'll never understand, but I think it should be like a watercolor sunset on his forehead. <laughs> it's beautiful. I feel like that... I can see it. That's something you would almost do. I can like, see it. Just a beautiful, like, color tattoo of a sunset. And he'd have a song there. called, like, Sunset on My Mind. Oh. Does J. Cole have kids? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. You think so? I don't know. He really respected that whole 21 Savage thing. He would also get, that. like, maybe, like, his kid's feet. Oh, hands, you know, like, like yeah, the little and, it baby says, prince. and it says like 2013, whatever year they like did it. My you know? hero, <laughs> Eric DOA. <laughs> this picture, really definitely something. in the market. Oh, yeah, he could easily get one. I think just like the classic, like, stick on name tag that you get, but it just says, Hi, my name is, and then it says Eric. Just on that, but right written, on his forehead, but the or E is cheek? backwards, the E is backwards, of course. yeah. Um. Let's go forehead on it. I think forehead? that he could do, yeah, a big, big sticker right there. You know, um, when I see him, right, I think of the mythological creature, a griffin. Mm, yeah, and I think a griffin, maybe with like doves at the bottom of it, like the griffin's taking flight. Yeah, and there's like a little, a little group of doves at the bottom. That would be really cool. Yeah, I think that'd be beautiful. Where on his face exactly? I'd, can it come up from his neck? Like some of the doves are down here, and the griffin's like here. Well, let's check with the referee. Good. It plays. It's good. It plays. It plays. <laughs> okay, cool. Griffin. Mm. Griffin with doves. Bobby Schmurda. Free Bobby. Our mans. Free Bobby. He's coming out soon. Um, Long time subscriber and fan of the show. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I kind of, I mean, maybe he has a face tattoo from prison that we haven't seen yet. That's, yeah. It's a possibility. But for now, what we know about Bobby. Oh, it's not that artistic, but how cool would it be if he got one that just said, free me. Free me. <laughs> Free me, exclamation point. Oh, that would be really cool, yeah. Um, I was just going to go with, like, some barbed wiring just all around to, like, represent the time, you know? Wow. Just barbed wire. That'd be fucking hardcore. Yeah. And that would, like, actually be sick, too. If yeah. If he did that, it'd just be like... That could start a train. You know? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez, dude. I've never seen you get so... <laughs> wow. I never... I hope <laughs> you never go to prison. I won't. You'll be a tough guy. Last one? Yeah. <laughs> Our boy, Mason Ramsey. Future rapper, I assume. Hasn't quite gotten in there yet. Wow. But, this know. is like a very impressive pose he has. Oh, my God. That smize, huh? that smize <laughs> says, I know a good time, and I'm only in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it truly has some sort of sass that I can't, you know. Can't possess. Yeah. I kind of see, like... 
like maybe like a wagon wheel, a barrel, like a little weed, and like a horse kind of walking with like a sunset, kind of like a western mural. Oh, like an Oregon Trail sort yeah, of deal. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. like setting out onto the frontier, kind of like all the camp and everything's over here, and it just like progresses and then fades out as it gets to the halfway point. Whoa. His blank face fills in the rest of this classic Americana Oh, so like the image. skyline goes kind of like into his mouth yeah. or something, and his like eyes are the clouds or something like that. That's pretty impressive as Thank an you. idea. Thank yeah. You. Um, I was going to go with a decapitated mallard duck. <laughs> so just the top half. Uh, so it's just kind of like a, it almost and looks head, like a... And the eyes have X's. Uh, it almost looks like kind of like a bloody sock, but like it's being held up. So it's kind of like a beak up, blood just pouring out of the neck. Oh, uh, God. I, yeah. This is just what I think of. And uh, uh-huh. so it's like the, the blood, once again, is uh-huh. pouring out <laughs> of this kind of like wiry neck that's kind of hanging there all limp. Severed. Severed. Yeah, mallard duck head. Dude, you have an amazing imagination. Thank you. It's so insightful. Yeah, and... uh, Eloquent, too. I think also that would just be cool as, like, you know, just, like, because of his age, the the shock value, but but also kind of, like, the statement he's making at Mm -hmm. that age, super powerful. Yes, and the suing of his parents that would happen. Or well, us. Maybe we're going to get sued. Eh, well, for legal reasons, don't get this tattoo, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> you should get it. Uh, and shout out Burger King for the cow farts thing. Absolutely. And Mason, by the way, uh, I will say that while I'm also I'm giving you this, this uh, advice to get this tattoo, I would also advise that you start rapping soon. Sooner than later, I yes. really like to hear it soon. I love your voice. Yeah, I love and your I want to hear it auto-tuned and sped up. Like a... Like a Night hyper core. pop, what's it called? Hyper pop? Hyper pop song with Mason. Ooh, that would be hard. Shit, a brick, that'd be sweet. Please. Dylan Brady, please send a beat pack to Mason. <laughs> cool. Well, that is our uh, our advice for everybody. Some face tattoo advice. Uh, let us know which ones are your favorite and who we should uh, give unsolicited, unwarranted, and frankly problematic advice for tattoos to uh, suggest some for us too. in the future yeah let us know what you think we should get because we're in the market we're sharing our bad ideas you might as well too all right like the video subscribe if you want to see more and join the discord and we've got merch available at hivemindtv.com thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video we love you